Greetings, citizens of the internet. I'm Static Buzz, and in this video, we're going to be doing a Final Fantasy 14 quest, actually, a main quest called Close to Home, and this one is in Gradania. Here's Gil, going to talk to Mother Mione here, and we will get started. Mione, proprietress of the Carline Canopy, wants you to perform three tasks that will help you learn the fundamentals of adventuring. Let us begin at the beginning, shall we? Now that we are a formal member, now that you are a formal member, formal member of the Adventurers Guild, we must be sure that you have a firm grasp of the fundamentals of adventuring. To that end, I have three tasks I wish you to perform. Your first task is to visit the Aetherite. Author Aetherite. The massive crystal stands in the middle of the Aetherite Plaza, not far from the Carline Canopy. As a device that enables instantaneous transportation, the Aetherite plays a key role in the life of the ever-wandering adventurer. Once you have located the crystal, all you need to do is touch its surface. A member of the Wood Whalers will be present to offer further instructions. For your second task, you are to visit the Conjurer's Guild. There's no better place to learn the arts of conjury. Speak with Madel, and she will explain the benefits of joining the guild. For the third and final task, I will have you visit the market at the heart of Old Gridania's commercial district. There you shall find weapons, armors, and all the various items that an adventurer might need on his travels. There is, however, more to the market than buying and selling goods. Speak with Parse Montreat and listen well to his counsel. The master merchant can be uncooperative at times, so be sure to offer him one of my famous eel pies. So, like so many men, he is much more charitable when his stomach is full. Here, I made a batch not long ago. You have your task, Static. May Nafika guide you. Ah, and one more thing. Should you happen to come across any citizens in need, don't be afraid to proffer a helping hand. Proffer, okay. I am certain they will be pleased to meet an adventurer in whom they can confide their woes. Granted, the work they offer is unlikely to be a realm-shattering importance, but prove your worth and build a reputation and time folks will be more inclined to entrust you with matters of movement. Also, I suggest that you lend an ear to the smith here in the canopy. The smiths are trusted representatives of the Adventure Guild and are an invaluable source of advice for neophytes, heroes, seeking to obtain greatness. What's up, buddy? And the ever-popular knot. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go get attuned to the Aetherite. After we get rid of all these extra buttons. Alright, I wonder if we can sprint now. Let's find out. Yeah, I can sprint. Good helps. Alright, it'll be right up here to the left. Can't miss it. Big blue glowing crystal. Alright, just go up and double click on the bad boy. As soon as we attune, we will get a cutscene. And a whaler will come talk to us. Greetings, adventurer. I see you are faithfully following Mother Mione's instructions. Allow me to offer you a bit of instruction myself. I am Nik Nikia of the Wood Whalers, and I know a thing or two about Aetherites. Yes, that big crystal right there. Aetherites are devices that tap into ethereal energies and are primarily used as a means to travel swiftly from one place to another. 
Return and Teleport, the most common transportation spells, make direct use of Aetherites and their connection to the flow of Aether. And as these devices are found in almost every corner of Eorzea, any adventurer worthy of the name will wish to seek out and attune himself to each one. Truly few things in this world are so useful to an intrepid explorer. But you need not locate them all at once. Before rushing out to the wilds, I suggest you start with the Aetherites found here in Gridania. Should you wish to learn more about the Aetherites or transportation magic, I am here to answer your questions. Another nod and return learned. I've attuned myself and now I'm going to actually not follow Mother Mio, Mio um, um, the mother's exact order of things. I'm going to actually go to the market guy first and talk to him. And what we're also going to do here, it's a little bit, it'll make things a little bit longer, but we're going to go ahead and attune ourselves to all of these shards in this side of Gridania. So here is Parsmontret. By what right does a fledgling adventurer presume to address Parsmontret, master of the markets? You think you can stroll in here bold as you please and demand my hard-earned knowledge? Ha! A merchant does not for not, especially when dealing with would-be heroes. If, on the other hand, you had some tasty morsel to curry my favor, then I might reconsider your request. Come now. This whole encounter reeks of Mione's handiwork, and more specifically her baking. Don't look so surprised, son. I smelled that eel pie of yours a mile away. Hand it over. And we will hand it over. And to the cutscene. Mmm, that flaky crust. Just divine. Very well. I'm a man of my word. Pay close attention, for I shall only explain this once. The aspiring adventurer need look no further than Rosewood and Ebony stalls. Both are but a short stroll from here where I stand. Where we stand. If you mean to do battle, you best be prepared with a quality set of weapons and armor. Such goods are the province of the Rosewood Stalls, directly south of here. You will be pleased to learn that the merchants of Gridania are exceedingly particular when it comes to craftsmanship. So you needn't fear defective straps and the like. If it's potion and paraphernalia you seek, Head north to the Ebony Stalls. The shelves there are lavishly stocked by widely traveled Udan merchants, and I may truly say that I have seen things amongst their myriad of wares that I scarcely knew existed. Do you follow me thus far? The first step in any purchase is to select a stall that meets your needs, then you may concern yourself with price and profit. There's little more I can teach you with mere words. Go peruse the stalls and see for yourself what wares they offer. There's no substitute for first-hand experience after all, and I am weary of talking, unless you have another eel pie, which I do not. All right, so first going to go through here, and we're going to go ahead and run because it's quite the jaunt. Um, over here is the Lancer's Guild, and they have a shard right outside. And we're going to attune to that. And attune. And now we're going to head back the way we came so we can get the other ones. Run! Run, run, run! Alright, so we're going to go right here in the middle. And right outside here should be another shard. Tune to that one. Mm. 
I don't know. I don't know what sound a, a tuning shard would make. All right, we're gonna go to the next one. You'll thank me for this later. Trust me. All right, the other shard's right up here on the right. There's actually two more after this one, though. And one of them is kind of out of the way. So remember this one. And remember that we have to come back and go across that bridge. So we're going to head across the bridge and to the right. And the next time when we come back, we're going to head across the bridge and stay to the left. We got to go way, 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 way back. Got to go way back. Way back, that's where the fun is. Way back, or is it way out? What was that Flintstone song? I think it's way out. Way out, way out. That's where the fun is. Way out. Of course, there's a bunch of aliens singing it. I think, if I remember right. So long ago. All right, so we're gonna tune to this one, and then we're gonna look at our map because I can never remember the name of this one. It's kind of a weird name. So that's where we're gonna head. Click it, go to that one. My Quito, that's what we'll call it. And remember the bridge, we're gonna head across the bridge and stay left this time. All right, going left, going left, going left. And just stay left. Kind of... oh, I was going to say go right, but we want to attune first, so we're going to attune. Alright, and then we're going to go into the Conjurer's Guild. Sprint! Sprint static! Sprint! What are you doing to us? Alright, and the person we're going to want to talk to is going to be right here at the desk. Maydee, Madel, Maydell, we'll call her Maydell, like Maybell. Maydell, you seek the secrets of Conjury, adventurer, then search no longer for you have found your way to the Conjurer's Guild. Awesome. It is at Mione's request that you have come, then allow me to provide you with an overview of what is to be a Conjurer. What it is to be a Conjurer. Conjury is the art of healing and purification. It, practitioners harness the power of nature then, that they might bring about change in the form of spells. Primitive magic, such as that once wrought by individuals known as mages, means those with the ability to manipulate aether, has existed since the dawn of time. It was not until some five centuries ago that Conjury emerged from this shapeless aglor agglomeration, agglomeration, I think it's agglomeration, of spells and charms, an event which led to the founding of Gridania. In those dark days, the elementals who not would not suffer man's presence in the Twelve Woods, forcing our forebears to make their home beneath the earth in the great subterranean city of Gelmora. But the but their desire to settle into in the twelve woods continued to burn fiercely. Time and time time and again they sought to curry the elementals' favor. Unlike men and other creatures bound in the temple of flesh, the elementals are beings of pure aether. Recognizing this, the mages of Eld reason that their talent for Aetheric manipulation might allow them to commune with these therefore enigma, en enigmatic entities. I took five long, it took five long decades, but our forebearers finally succeeded. They reward the elemental permission to dwell in the Twelve Woods. So it was that the nation of Gridania was born. Since that time, the elementals have taught us to live as one with nature, speaking to all Gridanias through the hearers, those mages who are able to commune with them. In 
for the intimacy with the elements, the hearers go would go on to attain, attain greater mastery over their forces of nature. Thus did they conceive the art of conjuring. I hope this has helped you gain a greater understanding of the Conjurer's Guild. Should you wish to delve further into the mysteries of conjury, then I urge you to consider joining our ranks. I can begin your initiation whenever you desire. Call upon me when you are ready to take the first step. We will, we will. We just got to finish this quest right now. We're going to report back to Mione. And actually, we're going to just go ahead and return. Take us right back to the plaza. I don't know why I was thinking I need to run back to the shard. I don't. <clears throat> Alright, now we're going to go this way back into the canopy. Jump, 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 jump. And there is Mother Mione. The Conquering Hero Returns. You have completed my little task, I trust. The three locations you visited were featured prominently in your life as an adventurer. Will feature. It is best you grow familiar with them as soon as possible. And you took the time to listen to the woes of the citizenry. I cannot emphasize enough how important it is to lend your talents to one and all, no matter how trivial the matter may seem. Oh, we will. I am thankful that you are an obliging sword, Static. It is an adventurer like you who will win the hearts of the locals and pave the way for those who follow. I pray Gridania can rely on your aid and in its struggle to come. Complete! Quest complete! All right, so that's the quest and the sh grabbing of the shards. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, please click the like button. And if you want to see more, hit the subscribe. Till next video, take care and bye-bye now.